right, welcome everyone. I'm Tina Parskell I'm from the Colorado Community College System and the chair of the steering committee. And I wanna thank everyone for joining us. We are pleased to have attendees participating from 45 states and the District of Columbia. And over 400 of you are joining this meeting for the first time. That's fantastic. So welcome. Well, I have a special surprise today. This is in fact, sorry, while I'm drinking, an award celebration. And we will be acknowledging two incredible leaders in the digital learning space over the next 10 to 15 minutes, and I appreciate you being with us to acknowledge their service. I think we might have a slide to show too. So our first award will be presented by the former Deputy Director of Membership and Programs and longtime heart and my friend, Molly McGill. The Dick Johnson and Molly McGill Award is given each year to an individual who's made a significant contribution to the higher education digital learning space and WCET during their career. So please join me in welcoming Molly. There we go. Thank you, Tina. Um, for the WCET awards ceremonies, we're typically in a large ballroom and we try to tease the unsuspecting awardee of our top honor with clues that allow the audience to play along in guessing who is to be named. Since there are only a few of us presenting on this Zoom session and the Dick Johnson Molly McGill Award is already named after me, that only one person with the hmm, length of experience to receive this honor. Congratulations, to Dr. John Opper, Executive Director, Distance Learning and Student Services, Florida Virtual Campus, as the 2021 recipient of the Johnson McGill Award. Wow. I'm shocked. Well, John, you can, you can get your thoughts together here. So uh, before we let you, and we know you are a very humble guy, John, before we let you make some remarks, uh, I'd like to review some of your accomplishments. Uh, John holds a PhD from Florida State University. Uh, he has authored policy studies and recommendations in the areas of undergraduate education, academic libraries, funding policy, and educational technology. John has been a, a leader in creating statewide distance learning policy and programs affecting Florida's schools, colleges, and universities. He led the Florida Distance Learning Consortium for 12 years until it merged with the Florida Virtual Campus in 2012. And someday you can ask John yourself, about the many iterations of his organization. We, especially Russ, marvels at how he has survived the changes. In all of these areas, John has led distance learning, library and student support services that are used by Florida's institutions. And as a result, his organization's efforts have increased the quality of post-secondary education for students throughout the state. Uh, in terms of John's service to WCET, uh, John was an advisor on the creation of the Technology Costing Methodology Project funded by FIPSI in 2003. He has contributed to numerous, numerous presentations and publications. Uh, one example uh, was in a recent WCT collaboration with John. He led a very insightful virtual dinner party discussion on the changing nature of credentials and what that means for students employers, and our institutions. He, is, he has helped to lead many systems for fellow leaders, a system and consortia efforts that provide digital learning services to multiple institutions. And he's always there to provide advice and ask good questions 
whether it be in the WCET mixed channel or with the WCET leadership. On a personal note, um, it's amazing how we get this stuff, John. <laughs> On a personal note, John is a devoted lover of classic Ford Mustangs. There is no road trip too long for John to drive his Mustang beauty. He also has an uncommon knowledge about Star Trek and even has a matching wardrobe and Zoom backgrounds. We're gonna to have to do a special Star Trek session with you, John, so you can wear the outfit. <laughs> and finally, John has been a true friend of all of us and champion of improving distance learning. <laughs> John, thank you and congratulations being recognized with WCET's highest honor. It's just uh, wonderful to see you and congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I'm surprised. It's, um, you know, uh, now that I know how you guys ambush people, I'll be much more um, um, careful. Um, well, this is totally unexpected, and uh, I, I appreciate it greatly. It's nice to be recognized by your friends, and not only colleagues, but your friends. And um, it has been my pleasure uh, to work with all of the folks at WCET and all of you who are members over the years. Uh, we have certainly been through, you know, when you've been doing this for over 20 years, you see a lot of different iterations. And I'm totally impressed with all of the, the great brain power that, that comes through WCET. And as much as I learn, um, you know, it's a really testament to an organization like WCET when somebody like me who's been uh, around a while and, uh, you know, when people give you a badge at a conference and you have a ribbon and people uh, stick on the bottom the ribbon for you that says troublemaker or bad influence. Uh, that's sort of the testament of you being around a while and being able to take a joke. But um, I think what's amazing to me about WCET is um, as much as I think I know, when I go to WCET conferences or talk with people involved in the work groups, I, I always learn something. And it's always something that I can use and always something that I can take back uh, to my members and my institutions. And, and, and that is really true, a hallmark of this organization. It is member driven. It is uh, responsive to member needs. It is uh, of all the organizations that I get involved with from technology organizations to state organizations to uh, other groups. This is the one that I try not to miss every year. Uh, this is the one that uh, provides me with uh, not only learning, but this is also the one that I can make a phone call to Russ or any of the members of the team and ask them to make a presentation or provide me a resource or respond to a question that I have or my members have, and they have never said no, and they have always come through uh, when I needed them. And that's just not usual. Uh, that's pretty unique. Uh, and of course, all of you are lifelong friends uh, and uh, we can all kid with each other. And I'm just going to have to say that I'm going to have to correct one thing or my friends in the Corvette community I'm not going to be real, really uh, too pleased about the high idea about me driving a Ford Mustang. In fact, if I were driving a Ford Mustang, it would be worth a picture. It would be worth a picture. That would be certainly true. Uh, if you could see my office, you will see pictures of me driving on Indianapolis in a Corvette. You will see pictures of me at the National Corvette Museum over here. And you'll see a couple of models of a Corvette on the, on, but anyway, uh, great job, Molly, but I got you on that one. Uh, I'm sorry about that, John. I that my intel got uh, messed up there. So no, that's, oh, that's okay. That's okay. I thought you were just razzing me a little bit. I can take it <laughs> uh, anyway. But thank you so much for this honor. It's truly uh, uh, greatly appreciated, and uh, uh, I appreciate it greatly. That's all I can say. I'm very surprised. So thank you for everything that you do for WCET and for higher education, John. Thank you so much. So when I um, transitioned from an institution to leading a consortium in 2015, John was such a wealth of information about how to lead member organizations and lead college 
um, consortium. So John, congratulations. Um, I do say, I, I will say you have been a bad influence on me. Oh, Just, well, I think it might be a little mutual. <laughs> somebody's got to do it, right? So. <laughs> Great. Well, our next award is the Sally Johnstone Award, and it's named after WCET's founding executive director. This award recognizes a professional who's made an outsized contribution for their rank to the digital learning community with the intention of recognizing thought leadership, excellence in practice, and demonstrated leadership capabilities. This award is meant to honor up Oh, to, that should be a comma there. It meant to honor up and coming leaders in higher education, although I do like the term honor up. So, Russ, could you uh, bestow the honor, please? Thank you very much, Tina, and congratulations, John. And, John, I'm the one responsible for that because, you, as you know, I can't tell the difference between a Corvette, a Mustang, or a Corvair. So, uh, there you we'll go. We'll work on you, Russ. We'll work on We'll work on me. That's right. All right. Well, it's, it's now my distinct pleasure to honor uh, Dr. Shante Rickasner, who's the Dean Academic S Success at Northeast Lakeview College, uh, which is one of five colleges in the Alamo Colleges District. Uh, Northeast Lakeview is a Hispanic serving institution located between San Antonio and Austin. So congratulations to Shante. Uh, she's probably a little surprised about this too. Uh, so, Shante, uh, you're a devoted leader in digital learning with an incredibly bright future. Uh, we consistently have been impressed uh, uh, with your student focus and ethically based leadership. Uh, we reached out to her colleagues who shared their thoughts about her. First, Amy Gates, an instructional designer on the Alamo College's online team, has worked with Shante for the entire time of her tenure at uh, Northeast Lakeview. And she shared that Shante's passion her student success is palpable. Her thought leadership in embracing new ways to enhance the online student experience has resulted in, first, the adoption of streamlined online orientation course for students who are new to distance learning, in-depth course reviews and continuous quality assurance standards, and increased opportunities for faculty development in various modalities. Dr. Laura Boyer, who is the Vice President for Academic Success and Shante's boss, shared that Dr. Rickhasner's extensive knowledge and background has significantly and positively impacted the ability of Northeast Lakeview College to serve our students through distance learning. She continues to help us be the best we can be in the distance learning space. Luke Dowden, who I think I saw was online here, is the Chief Online Learning Officer serving all five colleges in the Alamo District. Uh, Luke is a longtime friend of WCT who always has an eye on good leadership. And he told us that Dr. Rick Hasna was elected to represent community colleges on the WCT steering committee and having a compassionate and thoughtful voice representing community college students and the programming advisory group of a national organization is critical to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Her care for student success is evident in the way she engages fully in the work to advance digital learning across the district. And the award is also about the work for WCT, and so we turn to Van Davis who worked with her on the WCT's uh, steering committee working group. And he said that he's continually been impressed with her deep thoughtfulness and her commitment to keep equity centered in all of her work. Her leadership of the WCT steering committee's working group on equity led to the development of a wonderful set of resources on equity in higher education, including two thoughtful and eloquent frontiers blog posts. And then personally, I worked with her on this steering committee working group on student return on investment in last week's blog post uh, showed a very student-focused look on their views and what they expect for the time and money that they spend in pursuing a higher education degree. I'm very pleased to congratulate Shante on receiving the 2021 Sally Ann Johnstone Award. Congratulations. You can come up and say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Russ. Um, I, you know, I think, I don't know. I, I feel like I should have put two and two together at some point, um, but I'm still incredibly surprised. Um, and I'm also incredibly honored. Um, service is just the price we pay, right? So it's always my pleasure to serve, um, to grow consciousness in all the communities I exist in. And um, I couldn't have done half of any of the contributions to WCET 
um, this go round without the support of the steering committee members. So I, I thank you all so much. Um, I'm looking forward to um, growing my capacity to serve you all and to serve the digital landscape. Um, have to thank Dr. Dowden um, without his um, sort of hasty mentorship. Uh, he just kind of took me under his wing pretty quickly. Um, without that, I wouldn't be in this space and, and my knowledge wouldn't be growing in the, in the, at the pace that it is growing in this, in this, um, in this field. So I'm eternally grateful to Dr. Dowden. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not the sappiest of people, but listening to people talk about me, like y'all almost brought a tear to my eye. Um, but I got to keep it together <laughs> uh, as these things are recorded and, you know, <laughs> images on the Internet don't go away. So, <laughs> um, but I sincerely thank you all for for recognizing my service and contribution, but it has truly just been my absolute pleasure. Well, great. Thank you so much. Uh, Shante, it's been such a pleasure working with you on the steering committee and the working group. And I've learned so much from you and your thoughtful leadership over the past year. And I look forward to continue, continuing to learn from you and with you in the years to come. I'd like to also acknowledge our 2021 Digital Learning Heroes. These are the 2021 version of the WCET Outstanding Works or WOW Award. So I'd like to recognize Colorado Technical University, Miami University Regionals E Campus, University of Alabama, University of Louisville, University of North Dakota, and University of Texas at San Antonio. I'd also like to recognize the 2021 Sensational Awardees for Innovative Solutions to State Authorization Challenges. This year's winners are East Carolina University, Franklin University, Slippery Rock University, and University of South Dakota. So thank you and congratulations to the Sensational Awardees. And now another surprise, we actually have a gift card to give away. So Kim, draw a name and let us know who would be, who will be the re proud recipient of a $75 Amazon gift card. Hi Tina, it's Megan. Hi Megan. Davida Gatlin is our recipient. So Great. congratulations, Davida. We'll congratulations, Davida. Woohoo! So this closes out this session, and the next set of sessions begin promptly at 1215. So we'll see y'all there. Have a great rest of your day, and congratulations to all of our awardees. Bye, everyone, and thank you, Tina. So we do have a little extra time. This is a networking lunch. Feel free to... to just have lunch and communicate with each other, or you can have a little time back in your day. So thank you everyone that was here. We really appreciated having a good audience for our surprise today. So that was fun. Thanks for everyone that helped pull it off. John and Shantae, thank you for being such good sports. <laughs> I hope you didn't spend too much time memorizing your fake scripts. I got it right here. I'm ready. I was so ready, though. <laughs> All right. Read it out, John. All right. I don't think I can improve upon it. I don't think I can. So, so well, since we're never like so, 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 Van, what's the set that's coming for Christmas? Uh that I'm going to get for Christmas? Yes. Probably the secret? Fender probably the Fender guitar set. Oh, I don't have the Fender guitar yet. Either that or the um the uh red pickup. I, I think we, I think we should send a Lego set for a Ford Mustang to John. Oh, <laughs> they do make they do make a lego ford mustang a technic ford mustang set if my memory serves me correctly yes yes <laughs> they do yes they do and it leaks oil too i hear but, um... <laughs> bye everybody bye.
Thank you very Molly. much. Thanks, Thanks everyone. So great to see everybody. Thanks, Congratulations, Thank Shante. Keep up Thank the post, so Molly. Much. We got to keep track of you. Okay, we'll do. Bye bye. Miss you all. Miss you too. Thanks, everybody. Congrats, Shante. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be sending your physical awards soon, Shante and John. All right. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> bye.